Welcome to Eaton for tonight's game between Coleridge and the Eaton Reds. Eaton comes in. The Reds and Coleridge, both teams had beat Bennett earlier, leading into the 7 o'clock match. Two pretty good teams here. We're sponsored. Our first sponsor is Dr. Richter, and he is located in Greeley by right next to Far Library, between Far Library and the Eaton Baseball Fields. If you're looking for an orthodontist, Boy, he's, he's the guy to go see. I can tell you firsthand, my daughter had a chance to go there. And I say chance, a chance to go to the orthodontist. But she went there, and we have seen dramatic results with what Dr. Richter had done with her teeth. So we'd like to thank Dr. Richter for both the great job he did with my daughter and helping us sponsor the Eaton Coleridge State Volleyball quarterfinal game. Coleridge will lead off here. Eaton takes a 1-0 lead. Coleridge gives up a point, not getting the serve over.
like to take this break in the action to thank another one of our sponsors. That's New West Bank, located in Eaton. New West is a one of the few locally owned banks in the region. If you want to make a decision on your farm, your ranch, your home, and you want to sit across the, the table for a guy and look a guy in the eye and have him give you and a decision there and justify why or why not is taking place, feel free to go talk to Tim Croson and his staff. Uh, one thing I really like about New West Bank, when you go in there, there's people there that know you and know you on a local basis. You know, you go into a lot of the, the big national banks and they don't know who you are, but that's not that's not New West Bank. A friendly staff and a local decisions, uh, a real friendly place to do business in Eaton for your banking business.
like to take this opportunity during break to tell you about another one of our local sponsors, and that's Mosier Funeral Service, owned locally by our mayor, Scott Mosier, with his wife, Robin. They cover all of northern Colorado, north central Colorado, I should say, but the Greeley-Evans area, Eaton, Galton, Alt, Nunn, and all the areas in between. Scott's the, the mayor of our town, and we're doing some real positive things, and I, Scott is a, is a real positive person. I remember a few weeks ago I had him up in the uh, football box. He talked about pre-planning, and, boy, I couldn't agree more rather than waiting until a, a dire time. But, boy, if you need a, a helping hand and someone you can trust and have confidence in, that's Scott Mosier of Mosier Funeral Service. Eaton leads this game 20-14. to 14. Game point for Eaton. Eaton wins the first game, 25-17. Again, both teams had beaten Bennett earlier in the day. We'll take a three-minute recess between games. And I'd like to tell you about another one of our sponsors, and that's Jared McGraw. McGraw owns Greeley Semi-Service, and they do a washout of semis in the Eaton and Greeley area. If, uh, uh, Jared, he uh, does a, supports a lot of the the programs here in Eaton from an athletic standpoint. So if you have an opportunity and you'd like to support a locally owned business um, and have your semi washed out well, feel free to call Jared McGraw. Heritage Market. 
is our locally owned grocery store. And I shouldn't say it's a lot more than a grocery store. It's, it's a, certainly a supermarket in the fact that it has a, a locally owned pharmacy, locally owned bakery, um, meat market if you want a, a slice of meat cut the way you'd like it cut. Um, just like any other big store, they have everything is there and the prices are very reasonable. But uh, some of, you know, certainly the advantage of being close is you're not driving into Greeley and, and the time and the, the money that it costs to go back and forth. And you're supporting a local business that supports your local athletic programs. Good people at Heritage Market. Uh, you'll see them at everything, all the events in Eaton. They're a big supporter, and uh, a lot, they provide a lot, of, a lot of jobs for the local people here. So, and, they, and again, they support the Galeton, Alt, Nunn, and all points in between, as well as Eaton. So feel free to go in and say hey to the local people at Heritage Market. Eaton leads this series 1-0. to zero. Again, both teams had beaten Bennett to qualify to get to this point. A lot of volleyball taking place tonight in in, uh, in every division across the state of Colorado. I'll tell you real quick about another one of our sponsors, as long as we have an opportunity. That's Gerritsons, and Todd and Sherry Gerritson. Their sons and you know their sons have gone played athletics here in Eaton. But boy, if you want something done as a coach, something you know. Well, I tell you, Garrettson's is the place to go. They're, they're, I can't even think of another person to, to, to recommend who I would go to. If you want something done, they're as well as a retail. They carry all the, you know, the big products, all the major branches like everyone else. But if you want to talk about hockey and guns and, you know, people that have worked there a long time and know their business, that's, that's Garrettson's. I'll let get back to this game, but, boy, please visit all of our sponsors and Garrettson's. What a... What a good store they have. I better get the store score right here. I apologize. Eaton leads this second game 1 to 0 against Coleridge. Timeout, Coleridge as Eaton jumps to a 5-0 to zero lead. I'd like to talk to you about another Garretson that we have that lives here locally, and that's Marge Garretson of Caldwell Banker. She's a local real estate agent. I could tell you personally, I had a home a couple years ago when the real estate was not moving at all, and I, uh, I really saw a home I wanted to buy. I had another real estate agent that I, I, I couldn't even get people to look at my house. Marge came in, and within... I had gone through four listing times. Marge had it sold in two months. And, uh, you know, here's the lady that does. She's not afraid to spend money to get your home moved. So your most important investment, work with someone who's been in this industry a long time. She's also been a mortgage banker. She knows the real estate agent. Feel trust in Marge Garretson. She's at Caldwell Bankers in West Greeley. Lives here in Eaton, though. Eaton jumps up to a 6-0 lead.
Another timeout by Coleridge as they're down in this game 17 to 10. I'd like to tell you now about one of our sponsors, and that's Eaton Animal Den. They're located on the south side of Eaton on, in the new business park. Dr. Meredith, Meredith Early is the owner and veterinarian. They carry all your, they're a great source for all your tack and feed. They also do, uh, needless to say, they do a great job with domestic, exotic, and pocket pets. If you go in there, you'll see a, a very friendly attitude. I mean, the pets are going to like it. You see them walking around. You know, sometimes you go into a veterinarian and the pets are afraid to go in there. But, boy, it's just, it's got a great feel. And I, I, I put a pet in there and they, you know, they, they didn't get kennel cough. The place is clean. The animals are well cared for. You can take assurance that your pet will be well taken care of if you have a chance to take them to the Eaton Animal Den and Dr. Meredith Early and her staff. Coleridge comes back and scores, making it a 17 to 11 game. Many of you know that Eaton won the state championship last year, so they're hoping to get back in between graduations, and they've had a, a major injury, and that would be with Riley Haynes, one of their all-conference, all and hopefully she's hopefully to become an all-state player. She's already signed with UNC even through her injury, so they have a lot of respect, needless to say, for her game. Long trip for Coleridge coming through the mountains, there are people, if you wonder, Coleridge is located west of Glenwood Springs between Newcastle and Rifle on I-70. Beautiful new building.
Game point. Game point for Eaton. They win their second game. There'll be a three minute break between intermission here. Have an opportunity I'd like to tell you about CrossFit, a town the size of Eaton, having a an organization like CrossFit. I'll tell you this is a nationwide boom in athletics that has taken place. You, I'm sure most of you, if you watch ESPN, you've seen the CrossFit Athletics. Uh, locally, they're owned by the Contreras's, Kevin and Christine. Christine is also a fitness and music instructor here at the school. I, Boy, these people are fit. Uh, the thing that I really like about it, they will put together a plan and work with you on achieving your uh, your athletic and health goals versus going into, I mean, you've probably all gone into, you know, gyms and there's a set of weights there and you have good intentions of going in and, you know, and it was going to be you and you go in and work out a little bit and, and that's it, you know, and then you, then you walk away and, you know, and after a couple of weeks or a couple of sessions, you're done. And what I'll tell you, they, you'll get people that are like you who are, who have similar goals and you have people to work out with. And they, the thing about it, they do a lot of, different types of athletics you know they're not doing the same exercises over and over you know when you go you're doing different you know involved in a lot of different other things and boy it's 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 just a good and healthy environment you feel the the excitement when you go in there uh you know it's a lot of core uh, you know yoga stretching everything that you're looking for in an athletic venue uh crossfit is is just i mean what a treasure to have in eaton and eaton i have to you know say that we have a lot of these smaller types of businesses that are that are in bigger communities but people like living in eaton and they bring you know these just classy type of businesses to eaton and oh i have so much respect for that and that is that's crossfit and then again that's christine and kevin Contreras. Uh, they are located on the west side of Highway 85 in North Eaton. So go and visit CrossFit, and they have programs that you can join in classes that will go through. And during the summer, I can just tell you firsthand that both my daughter and my son have gone through CrossFit. And, boy, it is. They will push you as hard as you want to be pushed or not push you at all. It's, so it's your choice. But, boy, it's a, a wonderful place to work out. And they, you, will see, you will see major benefits if you go to to CrossFit. Eaton leads this series 2-0. to zero. We're Coming up to our third game, Coleridge serves. Coleridge will try to climb back in this contest. Coleridge takes his first lead of the night, two to one.
Corbridge starts to take over in the third game. Five to one. Eaton team getting a little bit frustrated. Let's see if they can come back or if Coleridge is going to be able to hold them off. Closest contest of the evening so far. Game three leads, Coleridge leads, excuse me, five to three. Boy, big time effort by both these teams. Girls diving on the floor, giving everything they've got. Coleridge takes a 7-4 lead. Boy, big time effort by both teams. Oh, these girls are going all out. They really are. A lot of excitement. Not a big crowd, but a lot of excitement. Eaton comes back and score, making it seven to five. Real competitive game. Coleridge takes a lead, eight to five. Eight to six. Eat and serve. Kaylee Rexus. Not a good serve. Coleridge leads nine to six. Big slam. Eaton comes back nine to seven. The lucky girl does it again. Boy, she hits hard. Coleridge continues to fight Eaton off, leading the game 10 to 7.
Eaton starts to come back again, closing it to two points, 11 to nine. Eleven to ten. As close as this game's been since the opening serve. Scores tied. Courtney Lockie serving. Good serve. Deaton takes its first lead of the evening, except it was one to zero, 12 to 11. Let's see if Coleridge can hold them off. Ball was called out, but a lot of people thought it was in. That one was in for sure. Eaton goes back with a 13 to 12 lead. Game tied up again. The most competitive match of the evening. Game three. Coleridge comes back and takes the lead back. Eaton comes back and ties it up. Eaton comes back and takes the lead, 15-14. Again, very competitive game. Eaton takes its first two-point game of the night. 16. 16-14. Timeout, Coleridge. I to tell you about one of our sponsors, and that's Matt Carroll Excavating. Matt Carroll is a, a person, it's, it's almost the ideal small business. He doesn't spend money on advertising, but he's always busy. That's because he works off of referrals. And it's, if you need excavation done, you need water lines put in, put building a new home. Boy, Matt Carroll, uh, he does so much for this uh, for this community and working with the athletic programs. He 
he helps out with the wrestling program as a as an assistant coach in a form. And what a good guy too, real good guy. If you want a, a fair price, an excavation a job done well, and don't believe me, talk to the people Matt Carroll has worked with. He's got a ton of referrals. And, again, he doesn't spend his money in advertising. He spends his money on referrals and getting a job well done. Matt Carroll, you'll find him in Eaton home book. Eaton's back to the serve, 16-14. Eaton takes a 17-14 lead. Biggest lead of the game by Eaton, who leads us two games to one, or two games to zero. Two games to zero. Both teams playing hard. Rejection by Eaton, and back it goes. Oh! Score. Back comes Coleridge, Boy, Courtney Lockie hits it down. Good return by the Coleridge. Libero. Set again. And almost got through. Good save by Coleridge. Eaton takes its biggest lead of the night, 2015. Timeout, Coleridge for the second time out of the evening. I'd like to tell you about a really good friend of mine locally here and has had both of his sons already go through the athletic programs here in Eaton, and that's Jeff Ryer. Jeff owns their repair, and uh, again, I, you know, I work with every one of these people. I, that's why I asked them to be my sponsors, because I know them firsthand, but Jeff... I had, a, I had a house when I had first bought my uh, house I'd owned for, for I bought, like my current home. Um, they had someone had put an air conditioner, and it didn't work with a darn, and I'd ask them to come out and help, you know, try to get it, and they were humming hot about it. It never ended up working. Finally, I called Jeff. That's how I got to know it. Jeff Ryer. I asked him if he'd come and take a look at it. He did some service on someone else's unit, and, and right away it worked a lot better. When I needed a new air conditioner, he put one in, and it, it was dramatically a lot better. And when I needed a new furnace, he put a, uh, a new furnace in. Again, it was dramatic difference, and it was so much more efficient than the old one. Jeffrey, Jeff Ryer, you find him in the Greeley and Eaton phone book. Eaton takes a 21-15 lead. But, boy, I tell you, you talk about someone who's, who's a real fair and does a great job. That's, that's Jeff Ryer. I, I've never heard anyone say a bad word about what he does on a business aspect. Eaton leads us 22-15, starting to take this game over with their biggest lead of the game. Again, if they finish with three more points here, they will win, they will win this game against Coleridge and go on to the next series. Serve over the top. Coleridge gets the ball back. 22-15, 22 22-16.
22-17. Here comes Coleridge back. They're, these girls won't give up. They've got a long ride home back over the mountains. They want to continue to play. They don't want to, uh, to be shut out here. 22-18. Coleridge continues to fight. Eaton comes back with his first point after a drive for three points. 23-18 Eaton. Coleridge, 23-19. Boy, nice save by Coleridge. They're calling it point eight and saying it hit the ground. 24-19, game point. Eaton serve. Close them out here. Let's see if Coleridge can stay with them. Double hit. Well, they call it Coleridge's point. 20 24. Coleridge is served. Game and set by Eaton. Courtney Lockie comes in with the slam. Boy, the Coleridge team girls really stuck with the Eaton girls that last game. It was by far the most competitive game. Eaton takes a series and will move on. Next Friday will be the first game for State. Eaton has qualified, so we would like to, to have you come down and join us there. If not, we will hopefully have the game on ColoradoPreps.tv. Thanks for joining us this evening.